In this video, I am going to talk about three most important subjects for gate mechanical engineering. So even if you are a beginner or someone at advanced level, this video will help you in prioritizing your subjects in utilizing the further time in the best way possible, whether it is about solving questions or about covering theory. Also note that I will not be talking about engineering mathematics or general aptitude. I am not considering those two subjects. So I will be only talking about the technical subjects of mechanical engineering. And I will also share one bonus tip about the syllabus. So make sure that you don't miss the video. The subject at number three is strength of materials with machine design. Yes, I have clubbed these two subjects together. Why you may ask? Because whatever you cover in strength of materials directly same concept, same formula, everything same is directly applied in machine design. Rather there are many such questions where you can debate whether it's a question of strength of materials or machine design. Yes, there are certain topics in machine design which where you may have to study something new relatively new for example fluctuating loads so when you combine these two subjects together the total weightage becomes 8 to 12 marks that's right mainly by focusing on the concepts of strength of materials and some handful of additional concepts in machine design you will be able to score as high as 12 marks in gate mechanical engineering also let me add here that the relative time that you have to spend in covering machine design will be a lot lesser than any of the other subjects. So consider strength of materials and a small addition of machine design as one of the most powerful combination when it comes to scoring marks. The second most important subject is manufacturing and production including material science and metrology. Some of you might be thinking at this point of time that sir, this subject has the highest weightage. Yes, it has. It has highest weightage even when compared to engineering mathematics and general aptitude. But still I have kept it at number two and not number one. Wait for the video to finish and by the end you will exactly know the reason why. Let me tell you that there are many concepts in manufacturing and production which are just the application of concepts which you already cover in strength of material, in fluid mechanics, in heat transfer. For example, in casting, you will be applying Bernoulli's equation, the concepts of fluid mechanics directly without any change of formula, without any change of equations. Similarly, in forming, metal forming, you will be applying direct formula and concepts of strength of materials without any change, without any modification. In welding, you will be directly applying the concepts of heat transfer without any changes. So yes, the topic, the question can be called as to be a question of manufacturing, but as such, whatever you are going to do in that question comes directly from other subjects. That is why the direct weightage of manufacturing and production is lesser. Before talking about the number one most important subject, do let me know in the comments below if such analysis is useful for you and you want such analysis for least important subjects of gate mechanical engineering as well. There are many students who struggle in solving the questions of theory of machines. Even after covering everything in theory of machines and they don't understand why. Let me tell you why by explaining which is the number one most important subject of gate mechanical engineering. Look, theory of machines is an application of engineering mechanics applied to machines and mechanisms when whatever you covered in engineering mechanics related to velocity related to acceleration related to motion you apply that to different mechanisms and machine you got theory of machine whether it is velocity analysis acceleration analysis whether flywheel whether it is cam whether it is your governors whether it is even your vibrations which is an application of shm simple harmonic motion while solving the questions of theory of machine, if you just focus on the way you solve it, you will realize that you are directly applying the concepts, numerical concepts, theoretical concepts from engineering mechanics. So theory of machines actually is an extension of engineering mechanics. That is why the number one most important subject for gate mechanical engineering, I'm combining these two, engineering mechanics and theory of machines.
yes i am combining those two together because when it comes to solving questions 90% of the questions are application of engineering mechanics only when you combine them together the total weightage roughly the same as manufacturing and production even there are many concepts of engineering mechanics which are applied in strength of materials as well in fluid mechanics as well and here is a bonus tip regarding the gate syllabus many of the students think that the weightage of mathematics is exactly 13 marks which is not true if you check some of the recent gate papers in some set the weightage has been lesser than 13 also i think 11 marks of maths came in one of the set so although gate has clearly notified in the official pdf that yes weightage will be 13 for maths but that is not true it gets lesser than that as well I am sure this video will help you in planning your further preparation, in prioritizing your time and do not forget that yes, knowledge is important. Yes, it is important to learn the concepts and I absolutely focus on that. But don't forget that ultimately what you know should convert to marks. That's why you are writing an exam. You must know the skill to convert your knowledge into numerical solving, into marks and that will ultimately give you the success. I wish you all the best.